So this is something that I've been itching to talk about for the longest time. In fact, ever since the Tournament of Power was announced, the first thought that came to me was the future of the two youngest and undeveloped characters in Dragon Ball Super. Now, I made a video last year about the mistreatment of Goten's character in Dragon Ball Super. However, this video in particular is a bit different because I'm not going to focus my criticism on the show, but rather on the people in our community who believe Goten and Trunks would be useless in the Tournament of Power. And I'll argue why they should have been in this arc from both a narrative and logical perspective. But first, I would like to dispel the most common arguments and debunk them. Okay, quick question. How old do you think Trunks and Goten are in here? Just give a guess, and although I'm sure some of you might think of them as 10 or 11 years old here, but to give you a little bit more context, the Boo arc ended at age 774. Battle of Gods started on age 778. The Goku Black arc ended around age 780. And that's before Bulma showed any signs of pregnancies as evident with how she looked in episode 72, which makes the Torment of Power at least near the end of age 780. So if you haven't got it already, Goten is at least 13 and Trunks is at least 14. Now you might ask me, what does age have to do with this? And I completely agree with you, it does not. But those who don't know better like to argue that they're too young and they can't be held responsible for fighting for their lives. Okay, first of all, this statement contradicts the entire Dragon Ball lore and franchise. Secondly, which is something I already established in my Goten video, is that the lack of change in their physical appearance is nothing more than a lack of character development. And while it's true that Saiyans do age slower and differently than normal humans, as evident with the 12-year-old Goku in Dragon Ball, and while I do believe it's only full-blooded Saiyans that age differently, it still doesn't change the fact when Goku experiences character development, his physical appearance change as a 15 year old. In fact, the better example for this is Gohan who experienced so much physical change throughout the course of the series, despite being younger than both Goku and Goten. This is mainly because in anime, younger characters experience growth with character development. I mean, just look at Gohan in the three time year skip in the Android Saga. He looks relatively the same. However, once you see him go into the Room of Spirit and Time, in that same arc, his physique is completely different. And mind you, Gohan was in fact 9 years old according to the manga, not even 11 when he defeated Cell. And yes, Goku put his faith and trust in a 9 year old according to Akira Toriyama, which isn't different from the time he decided not to kill Majin Buu so Goten and Trunks could beat him. But if you still aren't convinced that Goten and Trunks should have looked older, just look at this picture. The one that you see on your left is a 13 year old future Trunks. The one on the right is a 14 year old from Dragon Ball Super, who's supposed to be even more talented in the anime based on how easily he unlocked SSJ. So basically, it's not that they're just kids, they're just mistreated characters. Okay, so this argument actually takes more precedence than any other argument I heard, mainly because it was explicitly stated by Goku and Vegeta that both Trunks and Goten aren't experienced to fight in a battle royale environment. So it has little to do with their strength and more so with the way they fight, which in a way that does make sense. At least the show does give you a reason, right? Well, unfortunately, this reason ruins a lot of potential and comes off as just lazy. First of all, imagine if Piccolo did not train Gohan to fight off against the Saiyan invasion. I know these are different circumstances, but bear with me for just a second. Gohan's presence, according to the story, was so important due to his hidden potential. Master Roshi did not even consider fighting the Saiyans. In fact, he was written as comic relief, and despite his immense experience in battle, Gohan was a better choice. But that's not only because Gohan was stronger, it's his potential in the story as a character. Because like we saw in the Saiyan arc, Gohan was so scared that he could not do anything. However, being on the battlefield and experiencing a horrific environment, he was able to develop. That's what made Gohan so unique in the story, is that he shouldn't be fighting these monsters. He shouldn't have been on Namek as well. I mean, logically speaking, Roshi should have went to space. But the story made Gohan convinced his own mother that he should go instead. These particular instances is what made Gohan develop. If Gohan stayed home, his character wouldn't develop. So narratively speaking, Goten and Trunks are being held back by lazy writing. They don't get the chance to develop physically because their own characters remain the same. Their absence from their, this tournament ruins a lot of future interesting plot points. Like listen, it doesn't matter if they aren't experienced, it's actually all the more reason that they should fight so they could gain it. Like imagine Goten fighting with Goku and Gohan at the same time. 
We never have seen this before aside from the Broly movie. It will be interesting to see how the inexperienced Goten and Trunks are, and because of it, everyone suffers. And upon realizing this, they get their shit together and end up being very helpful. You see, you don't only need the strongest characters to participate, but you need characters who could develop. Trunks and Goten are Saiyans after all. They could learn how to fight while fighting. What takes Roshi 50 years to develop, Goten and Trunks could mimic in a second. And that is actually a fact. Okay, so my last argument was mainly on the narrative and the wasted potential in this arc, but when it comes down to who should Goten and Trunks replace, it doesn't matter to be honest. I know this might sound like I'm contradicting myself, but my desire to see Goten and Trunks in this arc doesn't really mean I don't want to see Roshi, Tien, or Krillin. I honestly like to see all of them including Frieza. However, logically speaking, Goku should have prioritized his son over Frieza. Like, I'm sorry, but while Frieza is a more interesting pick from a narrative point of view, it was undoubtedly a mistake by Goku. Like, the first thing this guy does is turn his back on Goku and tries to switch universes to screw over his own teammates. Frieza has no regard to anyone but himself. And honestly, despite his immense strength, who would you rather pick? Someone who's so strong that he could double cross you or pick someone weak that could benefit you eventually? If you pick the first one, you're honestly a hypocrite, because how could you pick weaker characters such as the humans, mainly because of how experienced they are, but yet you pick someone so dangerous for your own team chemistry? Goten and Trunks are way safer than Frieza, but of course that doesn't mean I do not want to see Frieza. He's actually a very interesting pick, and his presence adds a whole new layer to this arc. And while I do prefer the inclusion of Cell or Majin Buu, this doesn't ruin the whole arc for me. I just hate when people underestimate Goten and Trunks. Including the story, I strongly believe that both Trunks and Goten should have been there from a narrative and logical perspective. If the story could easily give huge gains for Android 17 that he could be on par with Super Saiyan Blue Goku, then the story shouldn't struggle so much to develop Goten and Trunks. I mean, for God's sakes, the Goku Black arc ended in episode 67. That was last year in November. It's been half a year, and you tell me there was no time to build up these characters? <sighs> Sorry, I didn't intend to make this into a rant. I know people hate listening to complaints, and they rather just hear the good stuff, so I'll leave it at this. And have you tell me what you think. Do you think Trunks and Goten are useless? Do you think they should have been developed in this arc, or hopefully develop in the next arc? Tell me in the comments down below. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you didn't, then I suggest you apply some of this cream. It should help. But hey, if you actually did enjoy it, then please comment, like, and subscribe. Peace.